this is the newly released Bellroy flip case. They don't call it a wallet because they call it a case and that's exactly what it is. It's a hard shell case for your credit cards and some bills, receipts, whatever you wanna put in there. Let's take a closer look at this and see exactly what's going on. It's a small little case at just 4.13 inches or 10.5 centimeters wide and just 2.76 inches or seven centimeters tall. Just barely big enough all the way around than your standard credit card size. This means it's gonna fit just into about any pocket or purse. The case opens from the top and has some nice, strong and satisfying magnetic closures. These open from the top from a small indention and you can open one side with your thumb, although that takes a little bit of practice. Now, Bellroy says it will hold eight cards or six cards and a bill or two or a receipt or something like that. There's a little plastic felt divider in between uh, the bills on one side, but then there's only the space for one or two cards on the other side. The angled side only has space for one card and the straight side only has space for about three or four cards. I found that was fairly liberal saying that you could fit eight cards in this case. It's gonna be very tight if you do that. Even with six cards and some bills, uh, there's no way that you could fit some bills and a CVS receipt in there for sure. Of course, Bellroy's signature Eco Leather. After just a few weeks of use, I've got it really worn in. It feels really soft to the touch and it's really, really nice. Here's the thing though, this wallet is a hard case. It's almost like a super slim and nice version of those Aluma wallets they had back years ago. And it's sturdy, but it's not gonna form fit in your pocket. It's not gonna form fit to your backside. Uh, I wear 5'11 pants and shorts, and they have a signature little tiny pocket at the very top with a bigger pocket below that in the back. And this fits perfect in something like that. So if you've got a smaller pocket, like a cell phone pocket or a watch pocket, this is gonna be really nice for you, but otherwise it doesn't really fit very well into a regular back pocket. So if you've just got regular jeans and you wear your wallet in your back pocket, I found it more than once turning from this orientation to this orientation in my pocket. And when you try to sit out on that, it's annoying and a little awkward. Overall, I still really love this case. I, I really do. It's become my go-to case, and because I have those 5'11 pants, uh, and I have that small pocket pretty much everywhere I go, this works out really well for me. Having quick access to my cards, being able to open them at a moment's notice, and that click, yeah, it's very, very nice. I found myself almost as a, as a fidget toy sometimes, fidgeting with it in my pocket or fidgeting with it while I'm paying for something uh, at the register. Bellroy makes a lot of fine products and we're going to be reviewing some of those here on the channel and uh, if you want to check them out go to bellroy.com and you can also check them out on their store on amazon hey thanks for watching i really appreciate it and drop a like if you like this video or subscribe if you want to see more content about uh, everyday carry edc stuff uh, retro gaming is going to be featured here in a series as well as uh, we're going to have a technology series on here. So I really appreciate uh, you subscribing, you supporting the channel, and we're trying to grow and we really appreciate it. You can find more info on my website at chadl.co. Again, thanks so much for watching.